Hi, third grade, and welcome to some pictures from Mrs. Plum, a uh, couple of Mrs. Plumption's trips to Canada. Um, when I was in college, I went to college up near the Buffalo area, so I actually did my student teaching in Buffalo, and um, we traveled to Canada quite often. Back then, you could just go over the um, Canadian border with a license, your um, and that was it. Now you need some more proof. You need either a passport or a birth certificate to go to Canada. And so this is some pictures from my trip to Canada. Um, this is a uh, from my scrapbook, so it's a little kind of hard to see. That's me at night. You can't even see the falls, but that was me on my trip to the falls. Um, at the end of the night, we actually traveled to the Canadian side, and we went to Hard Rock Cafe and did some other stuff there, too. Um, going to the Canadian side in the winter is my favorite. They have a beautiful light parade. It's a lot of fun to go. Um, this is the scow. I don't know if you can tell right here. This is on the Canadian side, and it's uh, a barge that broke free from a tug operation. Um, and uh, it's still there to this day, I believe, because I actually checked on it recently. Um, it's near the, the Toronto Power Station. And then over here is, I don't know if you can see it way in the back, this is the International Water Control Dam. Um, this is uh, on the Canadian side, so it's the um, operated by the Ontario, Ontario Power Generation Company. Um, to make sure that there's no overflow from the falls and, and to make sure that the, um, there's sufficient water for the power generation. And then down here is, I don't know if I can get down to it, we'll see if you can see, there we go, is a picture of the International Bridge or the Rainbow Bridge. Um, it's the Canadian shore is on the left, so that would be over here, there's Canada. And on this side is the American shore. And um, this is a picture right here, because I wondered what this was. Uh, I think it's one of this one right here. The Prospect Point Tower is located in the right edge of this picture, right edge. Oh, I think that must be that. Um, and then, so what on the white in the lower right is the mist coming off of the American Falls. So that's a picture of the International Rainbow Bridge. If you want to travel from the United States to Canada, this is one of the ways to get there um, in that area. Um, so you do need, you most people do travel through the Rainbow Bridge when they um, come across the border. Up here is a picture of, sorry, I made you sick because I was probably very speedy. This is a picture of the upper rapids of the Niagara River. Um, this is going towards the Horseshoe Falls. And then down here is a picture of the Horseshoe Falls. I think we've seen this view a lot of times. It's one of the um, more famous views that you like to see when you are in Canada. So this is um, Horseshoe Falls because it's shaped like a horseshoe. And um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say this. Um, the word Niagara is actually a Native American word. Um, so a lot of it has to do with meaning it means it's, it's changed over the years. It actually was like Angarara, um, and then eventually it became Niagara, but either way, it means Thunder of Waters, um, and that was the name of the, uh, the original Native American name, oops, sorry, of the, um, the falls. It started out as a Native American name, too, but, uh, and then a lot of people think Buffalo got the name Buffalo because of the animal. There's no Buffalo that's ever lived in the state of New York. It actually comes from the French word because we talked about how Canada does English and French, but it comes from the word Bouffalo, which is like beautiful flow because it was so close to um, Buffalo. They um, named it Buffalo Bouffalo. And then I, I also, my senior year of college, went to Toronto, which is a city in Canada. So here's some pictures of this city of Toronto from my, um, my, whatchamacallit, my hotel room. So this is a picture of Toronto. Um, I did a bunch of stuff while I was in Canada. It had a great it was her time with my classmates. So this is a picture of that. And then I also got to go to a professional football or baseball game. I watched the Toronto Blue Jays play. I went to the Toronto Zoo. I went to Medieval Times, which is a lot of fun. And this is my um, senior year of college after I did my student teaching. We ended up there and um, I think I have one more picture of me at the Toronto Zoo. I do. I had a really great time with the orangutans at the Toronto Zoo. So yep, not in Niagara Falls, but this is a picture of me in Canada at the Toronto Zoo with an orangutan. Um, actually, the statue was for 
a reminder for people not to throw their garbage in the enclosures because this animal actually ate um, something that somebody threw in the enclosures and before the zookeepers could find it, he ate it and it um, got stuck in his system. So but another reminder to be careful, even when you're at a zoo, don't litter. So those are some of my memories from Canada. I've been many, many times and I also went when I was a kid, my mom reminded me too. So I hope you enjoyed my pictures of Niagara Falls.